All right, it's now time for Mental Wellness Wednesday. Our friend Dr. Tracy Alloway is back, and today we're talking about stress and how you can deal with it. Welcome back. This is a great topic because everybody has stress at some point in their life, if not yes. almost every day, right? Exactly. And so one of the things I really like about how to approach stress is to recognize this idea of appraisal. What is your interpretation of how that stress is impacting you? And to have that mindset shift, to have a positive appraisal. Can you think of stress impacting you in a positive way? Yeah, I like that because, again, it's, it's your view. Because you might say something to somebody what you're stressed out about and their view you're like, that's not stressful. Exactly. Like, let me tell you what is stressful, right? <laughs> so that appraisal, that's a, an interesting way because it's your interpretation of it. Yes, and I came up with a little acronym to help us remember three science-based ways for how we can appraise our situation a little bit more positively. NBD, like no big, no big deal. deal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're so <And> clever. <laughs> <laughs> and just like you said, you know, your, your perspective or your interpretation matters. So the first one, the N, is novel. Do something to distract yourself, something novel to distract yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed. And what this does is feed into our dopamine loop. When we do something novel, we know from research that it increases our dopamine, our feel-good hormone, and we're also more likely to feel creative and come up with the more creative, different solution to maybe what's causing stress to I us. feel like during the holidays, mm -hmm. they always tell people to do that, yes. right? You know, to do something good or, mm -hmm. you know, do something because it does, it distracts you because sometimes that's a stressful time of the year yes. for people. So that's really good. The next one, this is interesting, <laughs> blink. Yes. Blink. Yes, and this is actually based on older research that is kind of making its way back into current scientific literature. But it's this idea that when you blink, not just, we blink more often when we're stressed anyway. We blink less when we're paying attention. So that's one way you can keep track, yeah. But by blinking even for a few seconds, three seconds is what the research shows, you're almost pausing time. It's like you're taking a little break. Everything around you is overwhelming and you're saying, you know what, for three seconds, I'm just going to step out of this situation. That's interesting. It's like a biohack. Yes, yes, yeah. it is. So I you're like saying you just, it. you know, blink three times really fast. Uh, right? No. Is that <laughs> <laughs> blink for three seconds, blink and hold oh, for wow. three seconds. Oh, okay. Yes, not fast. <laughs> <laughs> that would do the opposite. Yes. No wonder what's happening with me. You feel more stressed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then the last one, direct. Yes, and it's to direct your thinking to be more positive and ask yourself, what is this stress? teaching me? What is the positive outcome? So you might say, I'm feeling really stressed. I have exams coming up, but it's teaching me better study habit habits. It's teaching me time management. So refocusing and directing your thinking onto what is positive about this moment of stress. Yeah, no, that's really insightful. And again, it's something that we all have. And the way you created this, you could scale it really to anything yes. in life. And a lot of times, kind of taking your, your head out of that space for a second, mm -hmm. you could get a, just a better perspective on life and that stress. Yes, absolutely. And it's a good way to remind yourself, as you started off saying, that it's your interpretation of yeah. the stress that really makes the impact. Absolutely. Now, if people want to learn more about yourself and connect, what's the best route? How can I do that? Yeah, so I have a website, marktracyalloway.com. I am also on social media, Dr. Tracy Alloway, and I'd love to connect. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, stick around. More to come right after this.